Hi there, I am Abby Burtz, Associate Territory Manager with Pioneer Seeds. Today I am joining Jamie Farmer, field agronomist with Pioneer, on the outskirts of a corn plot planted in Ray County on April 6th. Today it's April 14th and then the days since April 6th when this plot was planted we've had some wet, rainy, pretty cold weather uh, and, and really that can be said for the whole state. So with those types of conditions what should growers be looking out for? Yeah, it's a great question, Abby. A lot of people are just trying to evaluate the emergence status of a lot of those fields planted in the first part of April. So again, like you mentioned, April 6th, so the first thing you think about with corn emergence is GDU accumulation. So this planted April 6th, here we are April 14th in Ray County, roughly 76 GDUs to date. We need around 120 to get that corn out of the ground. And so we've got a little ways to go looking at the middle part or late next week to really see a lot of this stuff up and be able to start to row it. So got a little ways to go from the GDU standpoint. As you're digging up those seedlings, some of the things you want to look for uh, is just to make sure none of that stuff's rotten. It's not soft and mushy, doesn't have a smell to it. Uh, it's, it's a firm seed and, and the plant parts, the, the shoot and the radical that are coming out are nice and firm and white as well. So most of the stuff that we've dug up here uh, as of late, the last couple of days looks really good so far. And I think the cooler temperatures have actually helped us avoid some of that fast fermentation process that can happen in warmer soils. The other thing we think about too sometimes, like, uh, like we've been looking at today, is some of the diseases in a cool wet environment. So that's why it's good fungicide seed treatment is so important. So thinking about things like Pythium, they like cool saturated soils. Don't really see any effects from Pythium yet that seed treatment's doing its job. So we've touched on emergence and disease. What pest concerns are we looking out for right now? Yeah, so thinking about things that affect seedlings in the trench, in the, in the seed trench, in cooler temperatures. So first thing that should come to mind is wireworms. We found several wireworms as we've dug around in some cornfields and plots here the last couple of days. And the other thing would be white grubs. So thinking about those pests, they like those cooler temperatures. Uh, they get in there. Seed treatment, some infro things can help you with some of that. Um, but ultimately, the jury's still out as to what sort of effect those different pests can have out there in the field. But something definitely keep an eye on is they can have a significant impact on that stand establishment. Sure, I think that that sounds great and pretty much sums up our discussion uh, as we stand here on April 14th. Obviously there's a lot to look forward to. Hopefully some sunny warm days right. are ahead of us so we can help promote that plant growth. It's gonna be exciting to watch and I hope you'll do the same with us. Join us for more episodes similar to this one. In the meantime, if you have questions, Feel free to reach out to your Pioneer sales professional or go to pioneer.com for more information. Again, thanks for joining us. We'll see you again next time. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.